And what were your thoughts on Christian's track? Yeah, um, yeah, Christian, man, Christian McCaffrey. Um, one of the best players, probably the best player I've played with. Um, you know, just uh, most disciplined. Uh, one of the, probably one, probably one of, if not the best, um, if not the best, probably one of the best teammates um, I've ever had as well. Um, great friend off the field too. Um, yeah, so it's tough, but at the end of the day, um, you know, I get I get both sides. Obviously, woke up, saw the news. Um, you know, had my initial thoughts. Um, was pretty bummed out. Uh, you know. But uh, you know, at the end, at the end of the day, uh, it's part of the business, and uh, you know, that's just kind of, it is what it is. And you know, he's going to go out there, and and I'm sure do a great job, and and have the effect um, in San Francisco that he had here in Charlotte, and you know, which which was incredible. But yeah, just an incredible teammate, um, incredible teammate, and uh, incredible leader. Um, and all, obviously, he's a great player too. Sam, surprised? the message, the message that this sends to the team when you trade away your best player. I mean, what do you take from that message? Do you, does it feel like you know, hey, they're throwing the towel in in the season? What do you feel like? No, I think for us, you know, we're worried about this next game. Um, you know, we got Tampa Bay coming in here, divisional opponent. Um, you know, I don't. You know, for us. That's really what it's about. It's taking it one game at a time. You know, if if we try to get focused on, you know, um, other things outside of what we can do um, in that locker room, um, you know, it doesn't do us any good. So we're we're still worried about going out there and winning football games, um, specifically this week against Tampa Bay, um, and we're not worried about anything else. We're not worried about any of the narratives um, that are going on outside of our locker room. Were you asleep when the news went down last night, and was your phone just blowing up when you turned it on this morning? Um, yeah, I was asleep, um, and you know, saw the saw the news this morning. So, yeah, um, had some people text me, reach out, but um, yeah, I think my initial thoughts, what I said at the at the beginning of this interview, um, you know, I think I think that those hold true. You know, those thoughts. Get a chance to talk to Christian. Yeah. What was your message to him? Um, I'll, I'll probably keep most of it between us, but um, for the most part, I just said, you know, gonna miss you. <laughs> gonna miss you, man. Uh, but obviously, good luck out there and do what you do best. Go play football and, and play it at a high level. Well, Sam, I have two questions. Um, the first one is, were you surprised? And the second question is, how are you feeling like physically? Yeah, um, you know, for me, um, you know, I, I was a little surprised, um, to be honest, just my initial thoughts. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, um, our record is what it is. And, um, you know, there, you know, whatever moves, you know, the, the front office wants to make um, at this point in the season, um, you know, Obviously, they're going to make and, and make it for the better of, of this team and, and this organization. And we have full faith in that um, in that locker room. Um, and then for me personally, you know, I feel really good. Um, my ankle is getting better every single day, and um, we're just going to continue to to progress it that way. Sam, you only played with Christian for two years here, but obviously you speak to y'all's relationship. What do you think his legacy is going to be here in Carolina, given all that he gave to the franchise? Yeah. Um, you know, again, like you said, you know, we played for a year, but I think we only played for uh, with each other for three games, um, and it was the first three games of last year. And you know, one of probably my favorite player to to go out there and and suit up with, man. I mean, just his ability to, you know, go out there and you know, even if there was some exotic blitz and they, you know, they brought a couple guys, you know, I knew the O-line was going to slide to this guy, I knew Christian had the back um, or had a corner blitz, you know, whatever they wanted to bring. Um, nothing was ever going to confuse him um, at the line of scrimmage or, you know, even in his routes, he was so definitive. Um, you know, he's so definitive with his routes and then um, his decision making um, when we give him those choice routes. Um, so it was just fun to go out there and play and knew that, you know, he was going to do his job every single play and give it his all. You know, I think that's what, 
you know, that's what we're going to miss most about him here. Um, you know, I think off the field um, kind of speaks for itself, man, just the kind of guy he is. Um, you know, stand up guy um, about all the right things, um, a leader, funny as hell, <laughs> um, one of the funnier guys I've ever met in my life. Um, you know, that, you know, obviously this, this city, this team's going to miss him. Um, but his legacy, I think, is, is going to live on, you know, the way that, um, you know, he led and, and, you know, the way that, you know, he made his mark on this city. And, you know, I, I'm not sure if, if words really do it justice, but, um, yeah, I think he's going to do great things over there in San Fran, and I'm sure he's going to do, do the same thing he did here. Unless the, <clears throat> the Panthers play the 49ers in the playoffs, is there a part of you that would enjoy or love to see Christian compete for an NFC championship or a Super Bowl and, and play on that level? Yeah, absolutely. You know, um, you know, I want, like I said, you know, the most dedicated, um, you know, you know, the most, um, yeah. He was just, he was all about football and all about keeping his body right. Um, and, you know, he, he dealt with a lot of things in the past with injuries and obviously he knew that. Um, and I think he did just about everything he could, literally everything he could, 24 hours a day, seven days a week, um, to be able to make sure that he was ready to go and play football. And, you know, to, to see that, um, you know, for him this season to finally, you know, feel really good and healthy. Um, you know, I'm excited, you know, to see what he to see what he can do out there, um, to be quite honest. And, you know, I'm you know, if, if he does get a chance to, to compete um, in the playoffs, um, yeah, I'd be very happy, you know, if, if we, um, you know, match up with him, that'd be that'd be super fun, you know. Um, but yeah, I'd be super, super happy to see him compete um, at a very, very high level. Thank you, Sam. Thanks, Sam. Thanks, Sam.